Good evening and welcome back to my channel. So kit review time. I uh, have had this one sitting in my stash for a little bit and uh, uh, my, my most recent uh, my most recent adventure in a uh, model building has me really, really kind of digging into the F4. So I, I pulled out this kit that's been buried and I think I very well may be trying to give this one a try. So let me open this up here a little bit. Okay, so this is a Ravel. 132nd Phantom F4G, which, you know, hey, I don't need to read to you guys. You can do that. It is a Ravel Skill 5, which, you know, I guess is their highest skill. Um, this is going to be, and I think this, I'm going to make this one my next build series, you know, the series of what I do. So I know very little about the F4 other than it looks really cool. Um, rough time frame about it. Uh, and so I'll be learning some more about it as I go. Uh, box art, you know, the box really doesn't fit well in this. And some information about the aircraft. And as we turn around, we get, you know, the top box art on the side. And then some pictures of the model itself and how well it can, you know, how well you can do it. And your other one again, box art and nothing on the back. So this is kind of cool. These are pictures of the actual model itself. So professionally done. That looks like it's, that actually looks like a photo of the um, actual aircraft. So that'll give you something to play around if we want to go to that pet. So let's take a look. Let's see what we have inside. Um, my experience with Ravel is several years out of date, but I have never been thoroughly impressed with Ravel. But, you know, let's, uh, let's see what we get. So we have some plastic. We have our instruction sheet. Yeah, more plus I like that this you know, sort of keeps the box from collapsing or being crunched. And our transfer sheet and our box. And that's what I see. So I shall move the box over here. And let's set the plastic aside. And we'll start, as I usually do, with our instruction guide. So what I'm going to do is pause for a moment, reset the camera so that, you know, because I had to have it out to see the whole thing. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. And so now we have this at a little more of a reasonable size. So let's crack in, take a look at the instruction kit. It looks like we have a part name. So they actually name what all the parts are. So if you want to find out what those pieces are, um, you can all 300 parts you have your name for them um interesting uh your paint guide in three different languages and so forth so let's crack over and so your first steps is as is typical the cockpit you um you know it looks like a typical um, aircraft cockpit build uh, we will see what they actually look like when we get to them. Um, I do know they make, or they are in existence, uh, upgrade parts for your cockpit and your ejection seats and so forth. It looks like your fuselage front half goes together in two pieces, then your nose cone. Uh, actually, it looks like your fuselage goes in together in three pieces. So you have your upper bottom and then your wheel well drops in. And those are your, so your compressors uh, sit back in the back of the fuselage and those get dropped into the back half of the, into the back half of the back half of the fuselage. So this is interesting. So your compressors are going to sit there and you're going to have open space, but you're also going to have these connector parts. So that'll be interesting to see how that ends up looking. Wings go together in three pieces, a bottom plate and then your top piece, and then also your main pieces of your wing, 162, so those can be go there. Um, your plates for your intakes, which I didn't know and actually until today um, that that would uh, change geometry. Uh, that that would change geometry in flight to control airflow into the compressors, which is kind of cool from a, an engineer standpoint. 
uh, your wing tips, which, you know, as those of you know, the F4's wings could fold up and they keep an eight degree cant. So I am assuming that the way these are made, they will take that. So when you build it, you're going to want to be sure to keep that. Yeah, your nozzle pieces. Again, I know there are resin upgrade parts for that. We'll see what those actually look like when we get there. Options for landing gear up, landing gear down. Um, wheels, it looks like if you can believe the picture that you have weighted wheels, um, or at least there. All right. And looking at these, we'll see if the parts are the way they are. Um, I know on some of the other scale ones, you have one piece for the covers and you have to cut them if you want to put them open. So we'll see what those end up looking like. Some detail parts here. And then by step 16, we are talking about little other detail parts for different versions. Um, your center, it looks like your center drop tank and a couple of your missiles for your missile loads. That's step 18, yeah, here we go. Uh, there's your mount points there. Spare missiles, and there we go. And you even have a, so there's your canopy. Um, you can have a, so you have two window option apparently. You, you can do them open and close. Um, but you also have a frameless windscreen option. Uh, I assume that is a version type. Again, not being a F4 fanatic, I don't have these details in the top of my head. Um, kind of cool. You have a, a ladder that goes with it, which is so your pilot's ladder is there, which is kind of neat. Then, so by step 22, you are into painting. Um, so you have looks like one, two paint schemes to go with. Um, although, quite simply, there are again um plenty of information out there and other paint schemes to go with it for uh so you have all your placard information uh which you know the f4 has tons of and then you have your final farewell pictures here at the back so yay instructions so five minutes of instructions which uh yeah, yay it looks like it'll go together fairly well here are our parts I see. Now that's interesting. They call for, or they tell you, you have a frameless. Yep, there it is, frameless. So let's do this. I will open this. If for no other reason, just to pull these pieces out. So the two pieces got together. So there's your frameless option. Ooh, some more page and a scratch because of the way they went together. Yay. It's been sitting in my kit for a while. There you've got some warpage here, a little warpage there. Your front windscreen, me. So those of you who know how to clean plastic and polish that down, this would be a good candidate for that. Um, they're okay. I plan to be doing them cockpit open and parked. So it may not be as bad for me, although you know what I may end up doing is actually doing that process because I have never done that before. I've never actually done the you know windscreen cleaning or plastic polishing thing. So as a teach yourself something new thing that probably would not be a bad plan for myself. So we'll set these off to the side here and put this back. So my tra wire transfer sheet. Here you go. It looks like this is for there's your placard callouts, and then your final farewell or your Idaho guard. So those are your two. You have your shark's teeth, tiger teeth. Um, if you like those schemes, there we go. You do only have two uh, for the F4G, although, like I said, I believe there are other transfer sheets and other options out there. So if we go to here, let's go ahead and Crack this one open to take a look inside. And let's see our detail. 
see if I can show up, just get the detail to show. Yeah, so we have recess panel lines and rivets. They are sharp. So they're sharp. Um, they are very thin. They look fairly well scaled, which is nice. Um, you know, you do have, so here's, here's something a little disappointing, but you know, it is what it is, right? So you have all of these panels that are right down the center line on the top of the aircraft, which are going to go away when you have to fill. So we will see how well these form up. Um, they're not terrible. I like the, de you know, the detail here looks really good. It will take a wash fairly well. Um, but yeah. We'll see how that is when we go to put it together. So let's slide this back in the bag real quick and move on. Here we go. So here's our next bag of pieces parts. So this is a 300 part kit, so you have quite a few, but do what they look like. So here is your cockpit. And okay, so it's your tub is really plain. Um, you know, I, I've, I've seen photo etch parts. I know what they look like. Or not, I keep saying photo etch, but resin is what I mean. Resin pieces. So we had one part fall off. One of our air scoops fall off. This, again, for having been on my stash a bit, it's a little scuffed up, but you know, a little bit of primer, and that's not going to be a problem. Your side wing drop tanks, your internal, oh, you're not your internal, but your air scoop, your center line fuel tank. There are your nozzles, which are kind of me. Um, I, 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 so here, this is going to be a real pain right there. Um, you have a lip right where this was formed. Um, so you have a, a seam lip all the way around the inside, inside the, with that inner detail. All of that will need to be sanded off. And this, this piece is kind of meh. Um, your internal parts, your fan blades and so forth are visible and they're okay. But that seam line right there is going to detract a lot. So if you care about this, that's going to be an issue. Um, meh. You know, that's work. But then again, so that, that makes me want to rethink whether or not I get the... I originally wasn't even thinking about the resin um, nozzles because I didn't really think it was going to be that important. But with that, I might really want to go ahead and do it. Um, okay, tank. These are your support pylons, details, weapon pylons. These all look good. I'm not seeing any real flash. Sink marks are all where you can work with them, so nothing terrible there. Okay, not bad. So here are our wheels. So, yep, okay, so weighted wheels and got a little deformation, so they actually look weighted, so that's not bad at all um there are your that's your internal housing or your internal uh, bulkhead where your compressor blades are going to be um i like the wheels so that's nice cool uh detail piece there your arrestor hook that's some nice fine detail that'll be a little bit of a pain to take off but not bad there's your one of your pieces or your pieces for your ejector seats, which is okay. Not great, not terrible. Your come on. Landing gear. There we go. Thank you. Landing gear struts. Some nice fine detail here, which will require some work getting off. The, the Yeah, so the parts for your ejector seat don't look bad. Excuse me. Oh, phew. Goodness. I apologize. Yeah, not bad. 
We'll see how that goes, those go up. Um, I think I may just go ahead and go with the kit supplied. See, there are your missiles there. You know, their missiles are really a little bit of thin detail on those, which is kind of neat. Ah, <sighs> so here we go. There is your cockpit pieces, and they're sort of well. They're okay. Um, like we'll see what they look like, right? Um, I, I'm not blown away by them, but then again, you know, they are what they are. You, the the dials and details look to be pretty, pretty accurate, pretty to scale. So, yeah. I don't think I'm too worried about that. Um, let's pull up. From here, this is another missile, another set of your missiles and pieces there. We'll need to pull those out. Uh, actually, wait, yes, there is, because that's your... That, this one has your front, your cockpit instrument panels. So let's take a quick see here. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus for me. Here we go. Not bad, not fantastic, but so, yeah, those are going to need to be, I mean, they're, they're workable. We can work with those. They're not, again, not super, they don't give you that super detailed look, but let's take a quick look here, as I'm wondering, and I am not seeing, yeah, so you have to paint those. We do not have... We do not have cockpit detail in your transfers. So for those, you're going to have to paint those. So if that's what you're going to do, and I will think about how I'm going to do it. Um, the detail's okay. You know, it's not super great. And if you're going, I mean, for a 130 second scale kit, the question is how much super detail you want to put into it. Um, I'm not hyper excited about it. Going all out because it's been a bit since I've done a kit like this. So, let's take a... so there's our front fuselage part, and detailing again looks like it did. It matches the other the other part of the fuselage, which is nice. I'm not seeing any real blemishes. Those are ejector pins, and I don't see any uh, there. We got a little bit of a doink there. That's about it. Um, some little deformation on that piece there. That looks like that's the top of the tail fin. So here's your other instrument panel. And again, that one's got, you know, the detail is there, but you, as a, you're going to be painting. Um, you're into, I believe those are internal wheel well parts with some nice cabling and stuff that will take some painting. Your other half of the fuselage piece. So that there. Oh, well, now that's disappointing. So this is a plate. So <laughs> this is the back side of the plate, right? All your really nice, cool raised rivets and three sinkholes right smack dab in the center. And this is, I believe, the um, the inside of your front landing gear cover. I think it's that, the inside of your front landing gear cover right there. Well, that's really disappointing. That's really disappointing. Huh. Wow. Well, it is what it is, right? Well, and you know, and these, same thing here. So, yeah, it is what it is, right? Um, here are your tail fins. Oh, and more cockpit detail. It looks like that's mold release agent. I uh, don't see any real blemishes to this, however. So there's that. That looks to be good. More mold release agent. Yeah, that's about it. More cockpit parts. So, again, well detailed. So they're there and they're paintable. So if you're going to do those, you know, you're, you're going to be spending some time detailing it. So that's, you know, again, it's what we do, right? We're modelers. So here is our... 
uh, wingtips. Looks pretty good. No, no uh, ejector pins that are bad. Details nice. These are going to... They should take washers fairly well. Uh, this is the... Oh, obviously the main wings and the tail. There's a lot of blemishes right here. I don't know that they're going to show once we get primer down on them. But I don't feel them. I see them. So the fact that I see them, they're twisting light just a little bit tells me that, you know, there's something there, but I don't know that it's really going to matter. Um, you know, I don't see this right here. It may just be it. Might just be an issue with the plastic, but I don't really feel anything. So we'll see. So that's that. And then here's another piece that came off. And again, dunk, dunk, dunk. Ejector pins marks right in. So here you have this. Uh, I'm not going to whine. You guys see it. You get it. You understand. I am whiny, but that's a little disappointing. So branding 1994. <laughs> okay, so it's a 94 kit. Interesting. Really? 94? So that's 94. And this kit is for a plane for 96. So this is, you know, obviously a mold that's been repurposed. So looking at the bottom plate, looks pretty good. So your detail's nice. Um, the kit is a nice kit. Uh, uh, so talking about what we have, what we have is a is a kit. It's a one thirty second scale F four, which is a nice kit. It's a it's an aircraft that has seen a lot of versions, has gone through a lot of work, has been was a workhorse of Vietnam. I'm really not sure the the provenance of the F4G, how much of it was done, but it's it's a well known kit. Or well known kit. It's a well known aircraft. So you have a lot you can do with this kit. I think this this kit has the potential to do a lot for you and to come up with you know you can come up with a a very nice end product. I am slightly disappointed in a couple of things. So you have the so here are your markings for your specific final farewell. So the the actual aircraft is pictured on the cover. These are your markings specifically for that. So um, if that's the one you want to do, then rock on. Um, you have all the details. If it's not, there are. I've said before, I'm repeating myself, but you know there are indeed other transfer sheets out there that you can get aftermarket to to do that. I believe I am going to reconsider getting the resin nozzles. Um, looking at what I have here, these, these, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. thank you. So looking at these things here, let's move this out of the way again for clarity so you're not all trouble. I think that disappoints me the most. <laughs> well, that and the, uh, the ejector pin marks on some of the, the internal detail. So it's an okay kit. Um, as I understand, uh, I did a little looking at this is under, I think you can get them, for, get this kit for under 50 bucks. So for under 50 bucks, um, F4 kit at this scale. Meh, okay. Not bad. Um, you have some work cut out for you. you. There is some work to do to make this kit come up nice, but it's a good base to work from. This, the detail is nice. Um, you don't have, you know, it's not soft. It's not gone. It's not terrible. It's not out of scale. I mean, your, your rivet details aren't huge. They're not raised, so you don't have all of that stuff that are major problems. So, Overall, you know, it, this looks like it will be a good kit. I think it will be a, a it will be an entertaining project. Um, it will twig the engineer in me to figure out the little details and the things that are I need to work on. But um, there you go. Uh, if you're interested in this kit, uh, that gives you an idea of what you're going to see in the box, whether or not you want to drop the cash for it or not, um, whether or not you want to pick up the aftermarket pieces for it. I, the cockpit's meh. The nozzles are meh. 
you know, the, the things with the nozzles kind of are, are disappointing. Um, so your main aftermarket stuff, you know, your cockpit, your ejector seats, and your, your nozzles, those tend to be the three main uh, aftermarket purchases for this thing. And then your, your markings, um, whether you want to get other transfers or print or paint yourselves. So there you go. Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful to you. And I'll see you next time. Take care.